So, ito na yung ating kusino. As you can see, hindi naman ako naglagay ng mga asupre or pang kulay-kulay na yan. But it turned like a real kusino, ba diba? So, walang mga preservatives yan. That is our uh, homemade kusino. recipe natin for today is we're going to make a uh, tocino, homemade tocino. So, pwede natin siyang gawin pang baon at pang negosyo. So, stay tuned! So, okay. Ito ang ating pork. And then, I cut it into a, uh, I slice it into a thin portion. Ayan. As you can see, masarap yung ganyan yung may taba-taba. Slice ko siya. So, this is a uh, 1 kilo of pork. Ayan. And then, ang ating ingredients ay salt. We need the uh, one teaspoon, uh, one spoon of salt, one cup of sugar, and then a uh, half cup of soy sauce, and of course, our pepper. So, sa ating sugar, ang ginamit ko is uh, raw sugar. Para, kasi pag white, masyado naman siya. Sobrang talis talaga. So, keep watching! At tayo magninegosyo maya-maya. So, this is a yet uh, 1 kilo of pork. So, say this is 200 pesos. And then, uh, uh, 1 cup of sugar. So, that's about uh, 10 pesos. Kung 40 pesos ang kilo ng sugar. And then, ang ating soy sauce on half a cup. So, let's see how it goes pag kukwenta natin mamaya. Okay, keep watching! Okay, so, let's mix up all our ingredients. This is the soy sauce. Ating salt. One spoon. And then, ang ating sugar. Yeah. One cup of sugar. Mix lang natin siya all together. Mm -hmm. And then, we're going to add uh, water. Around uh, one eight cup lang. Kasi, kung naman masyadong marami at baka maging singgang na itong ating Hindi natin siya lalagyan ng bawang kasi maglalasang barbecue naman siya. So, just purely sugar, salt, soy sauce, and pepper. Okay, so let's crack our fresh pepper, black pepper. So, yan lang talaga ang basic ingredients yeah. okay so we're going to uh, put it in the fridge chill until for later okay stay tuned okay so going back to our tocino from yesterday I marinated this overnight and then this is a uh, one kilo pork Tingnan natin kung ilan ang mababalot natin, okay? So, this cost around 235 pesos ang ating puhunan. So, tingnan natin kung ilan ang ating magagawa, okay? Okay. 
So, ayan, nakagawa tayo ng tatlong 250 grams out of 1 kilo. And then, nakagawa tayo ng dalawang 350 grams. Ayan, lagyan natin yung sauce inside. Para mas lalo siya mga. Okay, sa ating 1 kilo, nakapagtimbang tayo ng dalawang 300 grams at saka tatlong 200 grams. So, 200-600 grams saka 600 grams. So, 1 kilo and 1.2 kilos yung nagawa natin out of our 1 kilo. So, ang kuna natin all in all is 235 pesos. So, if we're going to sell the 200 grams of tocino for 55 pesos to 60 pesos, so, itong tatlo, 180 na. Say, 60 pesos natin ibibenta, so 180. And then, the 250 grams, I, I mean, the, ilang grams nga ba ito? Kalimutan ko na. The 60 grams, tama ba? So, the three... Ay, mali, 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 mali. And then, if we're going to sell our 300 grams into 80 pesos to 85 pesos, so, itong 600 is 160, 160 din. So, every, every kilo, ang puhunan natin is 235. And then, if we're going to sell this all in all, This one will be 180, 180. So, how much is that? So, my uh, 180 plus 180, 360. Less our kuhunan, 235. So, magkano na yun? Ang profit natin. So, yun na. Meron tayong profit na 125 in every 1 kilo of tocino. So, if you're going to make 10 kilos of tocino, <laughs> you're going to profit 1,250 in every 10 kilos. So, di ba, nasa bahay ka lang, kikita ka ng 1,250 a day staying at home. Bawat classmate mo, o kaya kapitbahay mo, bigyan mo ng tag-iisang kilo, bayad next month, o di ba? So, that is our negosyo tips for today. Making tocino at home. A very profitable uh, small business that you can start right your home. In your home. Okay, so I'm going to fry one tocino so we can taste naman kung anong lasa niya. Okay? So, stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, so... Okay, so on a small pot, pot. Okay, so on a medium heat. So, ito na yung ating tosino. As you can see, hindi naman ako naglagay ng mga asupre or pang kulay-kulay na yan. But it turned like a real tosino, di ba? So, walang mga preservatives yan. That is our homemade tosino. So that is our recipe for today, making our own tocino at home. So don't forget to uh, keep on subscribing to Marlena's Kitchenette. Until next time, see ya!